previously on 40 Days. My dad said, you gonna fight? I'm gonna take you to the gym, you gonna get beat up. Devin went in there and put a whooping on my kid. The trainers yelled, your kid is a natural. I'm big viral. Make videos, go viral, fight, win, even more viral. I'm able to handle everything because of Allah. People have a misconception that I don't train hard. I beat down down. This means more than anything I've done, and I'm going to sacrifice everything I have in that ring. But all roads go through Devin Haney. It has been a very interesting week in boxing regarding the mental health of Ryan Garcia. Still slated to face Devin Haney on April 20th at the Barclays Center, but concerns about Garcia's mental health have increased. Ryan has acted erratically on social media. It's troubling to watch. He's this guy who's already a massive underdog focused. He's in a difficult place right now. It is concerning behavior. There's definitely something wrong. He doesn't look right, bro. Some are saying this is his way of getting eyeballs, but one bad decision can destroy your life. I hope he's not making it. In recent weeks, it seemed like everyone but Ryan Garcia was speaking for him. Not anymore. Here, instead, from a boxer who knows exactly who he is. Good morning to you, too. People have a misconception about how I am mentally. Yes. I know what I'm doing. All my moves are calculated. I'm still the same dude. I'm just talking about things I'm passionate about. I've been posting my training. I've been posting how good I look, how strong I am. So people could play dumb. The truth is in front of your face. They'll scoop past the boxing videos I do, and they'll focus on anything that would make me look manic, but ignore the part when I'm talking like this and talking OK. So I'm going to do whatever I want. And then I'm gonna go and train, kick ass, and prove my point. So are we going straight rounds now, or? No, I don't wanna do that. So eight rounds, we pause it? Yeah. What I think people should know about Ryan is that he does zone in, and he will work hard. People get confused with reality and entertainment. I just focus on what he does in this building. I'm not even thinking about all the other stuff. I told Ryan, when you come in this building, I don't want to hear anything about it on the internet. We're focusing on becoming the world champion. The pairing, the elite fighter and trainer of champions, seemed tailored right from the start. Approaching their second fight together, those enhancements must continue to pay dividends. What I focus on doing with them is continually building his skill set. Chin down a little bit more. Tuck that chin a little bit more working with them on how to be more intelligent in the ring, opposed to only depending upon your natural athleticism. I've always been more of a just natural instinct type of dude. Good defense, good defense. There we go, there we go. But Derek has really taught me the intricates of just technicality. I work him on specific things, not until he gets it right, but until he can't get it wrong. You do it so many times over and over and over, repetitiously that you cannot get it wrong even if you try. So that's for me, is to drill, drill, drill over and over and over. April 20th, what I believe Ryan has to do is, first of all, be the best version of himself. Secondly, I believe that he can't let Devin be Devin. He has to let Devin Haney be somebody who knows somebody named Devin Haney. Keep him inside of a box so everything is in control. I'm better now because of him. Devin, he's gonna find out in the ring. This is a fight. If a riot starts in the ring, it, it does. But he's gonna get it some way, somehow. Let me go with that one. Should it be in one, two? Whatever I choose. Three, four, five, everybody knows. I like the punch, never like the drives. Six, seven, eight, he's late. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Sending Devil Haney straight to hell. Hey, those are bars. Mm. Let's go. Facts. I'm blessed, highly favored. Shoes of your Seuss Taylor. But bro, I go with it. Bro, you ain't last five minutes. It's run. All right, keep going. I like it. Keep it flowing. I'm, I'm blessed. blessed, highly, highly favored. favored. I'm blessed. Music helps me release the pain and emotions that I feel at times. Every day I wake up and do my job. I'm on that private plane getting closer to God. That's perfect, that's the one. That is the one. We can do it again. I was reached out by the people from Universal. 
And then I made my own record label to do a partnership deal. And here we go. Now I'm making a lot of music. I have a music background because my dad plays piano. He literally went to school for it. I've always freestyled and just had a good time. But then I realized like I could make songs. He said, I'm serious about what I do. We we're like, all right, if you're serious. Between me and my partner, we've worked on projects that have sold over 100 million records. We have four Grammys. So we, you know, we kind of know what we're doing a little bit. Ryan can be a superstar in this game. He already has a huge fan base. The ladies love him. The dudes want to be like him. He's brilliant. So we just going to make it do what it do. We can everybody a win. We got one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got one. Out of ring ambitions will end soon enough because the time to fight is almost here. Ryan, he's a unique guy. You know, I had a lot of respect for him at the time, but all the respect that I had for him leading up to this fight, I lost. And um, we don't know if the world will tune in to see the circus. They want to see a lion, you know, jump through the hoop. Maybe. Do they want to see Ryan get tortured? Maybe. <laughs> Working hard and hunger pains that you feel at night when you're on your diet, the days when, you, when you're tired, you don't feel like working out, that's the fun part. The process is the reward to me. I've been doing this for so long that it's second nature to me. I work hard, I show love, that karma steady grown. Karma steady grown. Got this far, I go hard, let God take control. God take control. That's the one. Nice, damn. Your nice. pull works a lot better when you're selling it here, because you get your you get your full pull. Well, my dad is a great man. He's a real family man. He's a real dad. My dad has put me in the position that I am in today. People frown upon his past mistakes, but he worked hard to get me away from the path that he did. I grew up in a neighborhood where kids were selling drugs and doing things that we weren't supposed to do. And of course, uh, I jumped off the porch, which landed me five years in the federal prison. No man is perfect and life is not perfect. And uh, when something happens bad, Allah's drawing you closer to your faith. So, um, you know, I vowed that once I got out that I would never go back again. From that point on, I said, let me be the best that I can be in helping him develop his God-given ability, which is <laughs> to fight. It's been Devin Haney versus everybody from the very beginning. And it wasn't so much that he was super talented that he could just beat any kid, but he outworked every kid. That doesn't feel like a job to me. I love the grind, I love the process. Every day pushing myself, every day working on something that I didn't do yesterday, just trying to be a better Devin Haney. And that's my mindset going into this fight. Motivation of you young, mentally feel like Kobe. I'm like yo, with the rock. You physically home, man. Don't care if you push it forward. It is us versus whoever's in the way. From to I want the world to, to see how great I am. See that I'm levels above a guy like Ryan Garcia and that I'm, I'm the best fighter in the world. I see Devin overwhelming Ryan with his ability to get in, get out, lateral movement, an awesome jab, a fast right hand. And in the end, he will be bloody and battered. He makes a lot of the same mistakes that he made in the amateurs, and that's what's going to separate me from him. We know one day that you're going to tell your kids, I got a chance to see Devin Haney in the beginning. April 20th will be fireworks. Ryan is just another stepping stone. He wants me to hit him with my best. I will. Dallas is a Derek James town, which is why today Ryan is familiarizing himself with James's old digs and getting a little inspiration in the process. 
first first to a box here. Yeah, in this gym, yeah. This is the one? Well, I learned how to box. Yeah. Going to the Boys and Girls Club because Ryan, he's a big superstar. So I think it'll be great for the kids to kind of engage with him and just let him know that anything is possible. Oh, you're a boxer? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this fight, I have a different motivation. Not only am I doing it for my kids, but I'm doing it for the kids that are silent right now and can't, can't speak. I'm going to shout you out when I win. You got to win. After I win, I'm like, yo, Markel, didn't I tell you I was going to do that? You didn't know this was Derek's Boys and Girls Club. I had no clue. He's a product of that. Yeah, I mean, it's just a testament of how far you could come from just a little help. Started going when I was five years old. I went until I was 21 years old. And ever since I left, I always gave back. This here can push him forward to be another Derek James. So I'm pretty happy to be a part of it. One, two, three. Another ounce of motivation, remembering all the kids that came up to me. Obviously, they want to see me win now. Uh, I definitely got to put it on for them and make sure I knock out Devin. Gestures, big or small, have enormous impact when coming from these two. Whether it's for a boys and girls club or a single parent in need of a boost. Now we're giving back to a family in need. It's, it's not something I do for, you know, just the cameras. It's something that I do year round uh, whenever I get the chance to. Oh. Yes, sir. What's your name? My name is Devin. Devin, that's Devin right. Yes, sir. right. Yes, I saw you yes, in the ring a few times. Yes, yes. Sir. yes, sir. When's your next fight? April 20th. April 20th. Who are you fighting? I find a guy named Ryan Garcia. Yeah, I heard of him. I saw him. Didn't he fight, um, what's the guy, didn't he fight Tank before? That was a fight he lost. He quit. He quit in that fight. Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He hit him in the side or something. He gave a body punch, didn't he? Was it a body punch? You know, you know your boxing, OG. I was, I was watching that on TV. I said, oh, man, you know. April 20th, it won't be no different. When I was 10, I liked the lunchables. This right here, my favorite one, the nachos. If you know, you know. Fruity Pebbles. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to get some Gatorade, some water. How are you? Good. We appreciate you guys letting us come and in your home and give back to you. And we also got a gift card with four hundred dollars on it. You know, just so whatever extra you guys uh, need. It's definitely a blessing because I just lost my job, so oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm super thankful for everything, for very sure, humble sure. and, and I appreciate you. I'm nobody special, I'm just Devin, and Allah blessed me with this with this opportunity to give back, so yeah, nice to meet you guys, thank nice you. Nice to meet you. All right, you guys have a good one. I'm so thankful. I'm 30, I have a 10 year old, I'm trying to just work to elevate, things been hard. It was definitely perfect timing. I mean, we just had a live boxer come into our home. It's pretty dope, huh? It sure is. As camp comes to a close, it's clear these fighters' orbits are expansive. But as April 20th approaches, the story comes back into focus, with Brooklyn serving as the final stage. We we fought in amateurs multiple times, you know, and um, in the pros we're gonna we're gonna get it on when, when the time is right. You know, one guy that certainly has a history with you is the man to your left, also carrying a belt, Devin Haney. Hey, hold up! I need a belt too. If he's the champ, I'm the champ, right? I'm the champ. I'm the champ, and if he wants a real fight, he can fight me. I, hey, I should be champ, right? Hey, we're good fighters. Let's fight. It's no real friends in boxing. It's a lonely sport. On April twentieth. I will break Ryan Garcia. Now, two men long tethered eye the rarest thing in boxing, a legitimate game seven.
We're fighting for the 140 pound title and I'm gonna grip that f***ing green belt off of Devin Haney if I have to and I'm going to sacrifice everything I have in that ring. I gotta send him this message. I'm coming to f*** you up. And for anyone who hasn't heard, this one counts. Devin the Dream Haney has proven himself all over the world. He's the one with a lot to lose. Triumph and his future becomes so bright it's blinding. Lose and begin to climb back. Ryan Garcia is not on my level and that's for me to prove. King Ryan Garcia in comparison is the one with a lot to prove. King Ryan Garcia! Accomplished and thrilling and a renowned celebrity isn't all that he wants. But to ascend even higher in his career Fame doesn't matter, not now. Fists matter, the ones he promised for months to unleash on Haney's face. They turned me into a monster. You just switched something in my brain. That's why with Devin, I'm not playing with him. Now when he step in the ring with me, I'm not scared to hurt you. But game sevens are always decisive, which means one man will prove and the other man will lose. I think I'm King Kong, Superman, Godzilla, Spider-Man, all of them. I am a bit of a maniac and I'm kind of a little crazy. I don't know how he's going to stop me. But as always, with these two, there's sure to be more to this story. This is my only opportunity right now. To me, it feels like do or die moment. We all fighting for something. And on April 20th, we're going to see who wants it more. I promise you, this is one to remember.